So, today I've got here the Sharp Eye Inferno 72, and um, I'm going to be giving my first impressions on uh, how the board's gone so far. So, I've ridden it in three surfs so far, and it first surf was good, second surf was pretty good as well, third surf I just received my second vaccination, so my paddle power wasn't up to it. Um, so far the board's already recommended. Um, the one thing I would say, so if we look at the concave, it's a single, single, and then um, a really aggressive double when it gets real swoopy through the fins. So yeah, the double concave is quite aggressive. What that does is um, it actually makes the board, um, as you can see, quite skatey and stuff. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a bit of skate on the board, but not as uh, much uh, skatiness as I thought there would be. Um, if we look at the entry rocker, kind of like a medium entry rocker uh medium exit but it's almost like yeah it's almost like a load of medium in the back there um so yeah the under the back foot you'll generate speed and get over those flat spots real easy um rails under my arm feel medium and yeah the board's overall pretty good the one thing i don't like about the board so far is my fin setup i'm running so i'm running a neoglux uh accelerator fin set and uh, yeah, that's not feeling uh, the best. I think because of the material, the neo glass, it's very like uh, plasticky, as you can see, super flexy. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's so far the verdict on it. In saying this, uh, I'd like to also mention that this could be one of my last uh, thruster boards uh, to be reviewed for a little while, as I want to try um, some different boards like quads and uh, mid lengths, twins, and different um, different sort of stuff, just to keep the channel interesting because. Uh, yeah, the other thing I would say is this board's a little bit overhyped. Um, I just have to be honest. Because uh, as you guys are getting excited over watching Kel Broccoli and the likes of Taj Burrow rip this board to shreds, they are extremely good surfers, especially Taj Burrow. And Kel Broccoli is not your average everyday surfer. He is like a semi-pro to a certain degree. So um that's one thing to look at um yeah just don't compare the likes of them uh to you as an average everyday surfer um the full review will be coming shortly i think uh if i look at it deck compression wise it's pretty good so durability wise they're using south coast foam and uh the resin they're using is uh pretty top quality so well done sharp eye anyway full review will be coming shortly thanks for watching Straight for the tips.